U.S. Congressman Tom Emmer pointed to Ripple's court win over the SEC as a great example of how the agency breaks the rules. Also, Binance has made it possible to trade XRP on the open market and on margin without paying any fees. What is the point of this move, though? Also, Uphold is having a short-term problem that is making it take much longer than usual to withdraw crypto assets like XRP from the site. The problem will be looked into to see what could have caused it. In the end, after the 2023 Most Important Award, a few months ago, there was a lot of disagreement about who the Real Comeback King should be. Stay with me until the end to learn more. You should watch this new video right away if this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Here, we talk about the latest news about XRP and cryptocurrencies in general. We'd like to send you a warm welcome if this is your first time watching one of our movies. If you don't want to miss another movie, please click on the bell icon. We're letting you know that this station is giving away 200 XRP. To be in the running, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a message with the hashtag XRP. The winner will be announced on December 15 th. The payment-focused cryptocurrency company Ripple won a major court case against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in July. U. South District Court Judge Annalisa Torres said that secondary sales of XRP could be called securities transactions. But for the first time, she also said that XRP sold on secondary markets was not stocks, as the SEC had said. Since then, other crypto companies like Coinbase and Binance have used that unlikely win as evidence in their own court cases against the regulatory body. Even more interesting is the fact that the decision could be used as a base for an amendment that stops the SEC from getting money to keep up its alleged attacks on crypto. Tom Emmer, who is from Minnesota's 6th Congressional District, filed an amendment to the government budget at a hearing in Congress on November 8. In the budget, it was hoped that the SEC would not be able to use taxpayer money to go after crypto-related companies. In his case, Rep. Tom Emmer brought up the fact that the SEC has tried to regulate the crypto space by enforcing the rules. The government has cracked down on dozens of crypto firms, but Emmer points out that the securities regulator has never officially made any rules for the business to follow. Though, he also said, like most crypto firms, that the SEC does not have the power to control the area for digital assets. Rep. Emmer used statements from the SEC's Enforcement Division to show that the agency was taking action against companies that were not under its control. In the same way, the lawmaker talked about Ripple's win over the SEC. What he wrote, in July, the SEC was charged by the Southern District of New York. XRP is not itself a security, they say. The SEC saw the Ripple case as a major lawsuit, so Emmer said that the fact that the case was lost showed that the agency was abusing its regulatory power. He was sure that stopping the SEC from using some of its budget to take action against crypto companies would help stop these kinds of wrongdoings. Since then, the change has moved forward and is now in the House's budget bill. The final reconciliation group has yet to say whether the bill will be passed in its current form a result that would make it harder for the SEC to go after crypto companies. Don't forget to subscribe to our station and hit that bell to be the first to know what's going on with XRP. Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, said on December 5 that it would start offering free trading for 6 FD USD spot and margin pairs. This was done in response to the current rise in the cryptocurrency market. At first, Ethereum, XRP, BNB, Solana, Dogecoin, and Chainlink will all be able to trade without any fees. During the offer, users don't have to pay any maker or taker fees, and trading volume on these pairs isn't counted towards the VIP level or the liquidity provider programs. The pairs are also not eligible for BNB fee cuts or other fee changes. After the promotion stops, normal trading fees will be charged. XRP which is worth 62 cents right now, has seen more trades, which suggests that traders are becoming more interested, even though the price has dropped 1% in the last 24 hours. Also, the Uphold team quickly told customers about the problem in a recent post on X, telling them that it would only last for a short time. 
they said that a technical issue meant that blockchain withdrawals on the site had to be put off. It wasn't clear from the team what caused this technical issue. On the other hand, they confirmed that exit times would return to normal soon. As expected, Uphold's disclosure and the problem itself have gotten a lot of attention, with XRP fans and other crypto supporters having a range of reactions. Notably, some customers took the chance to talk about their own problems, since payments and withdrawals have been delayed. One person who supports XRP was unhappy with the change, pointing out that a trade took six hours to finish, which cost money. They also said that they had moved Ethereum from Coinbase, which is the biggest exchange in the US, to keep up. In spite of this, the deal had been stuck for seven hours before it was revealed. The customers said that they were still waiting for the deal to be completed. Some customers used the chance to tell buyers not to keep their crypto assets on centralized exchanges, but most customers were happy with how open and quick Uphold was to tell them about the problem. A move that should be praised. So, what do you think the cause might be? It's interesting. Address registration for the planned Evernote airdrop for XRP holders is still going on, and this problem has come up. Node says that up to 23,858 addresses have signed up for the latest update, which means that more than $2 billion worth of qualified XRP tokens have been sent. With only Uphold and Bitru taking part, some people in the XRP community think that the delays and withdrawals might have something to do with the upcoming airdrop. But this doesn't seem likely, some people think it might have something to do with scale. Remember that Uphold went through a similar situation after the July 13 decision that said XRP was not a security. Uphold saw the most demand for XRP from U.S. investors because it was the only big U.S. exchange that supported it at the time. This caused the platform to crash for a short time. Now for the big question of the day, should Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, or the whole XRP army be called the comeback king for 2023? Don't forget to subscribe to our station and hit that bell to be the first to know what's going on with XRP. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission came to Ripple's door in late December 2020. The cryptocurrency company made it clear that it would fight until the end to show that its XRP coin was not a security. But that fight, which the company has mostly won at this point, would not have been possible without the support of its customers. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has thanked the community many times, most famously when he threw a real party to celebrate the company's win against the SEC in July. Once more, Garlinghouse showed his appreciation for the XRP troops by giving a recent award to the community. One of the most important people in crypto this year was named the CEO of Ripple. The win was mostly due to Ripple's court decision, which many people think sets a standard for the cryptocurrency space. But Garlinghouse didn't wait long to tell the rest of the XRP family about the win. In an ex-post, he said that the award should go to him and the whole XRP army. Some people in the community did more than just support Ripple and XRP on social media. A separate case was filed against the SEC by about 75,000 investors who said they did not think XRP was a security.